Hello again. It's been a while since I did a vlog. I want to throw this one in as a short one, um, just before my book comes out, because I want to cover a thing that I believe is important, that theology can change. The reason I'm doing this is because my book has to be rewritten in parts, and that's because my thoughts on things change over time. It happens. It surely happens when you analyse and read scripture and reason things out. Bear with me on this. I don't mean that major things like Jesus is my Lord, my Saviour, and I am saved by His grace, and it is grace that achieves everything for me. That doesn't change. But other things that I have based some of my theology on have been shown to be wrong simply because I have misread something. It's happened to me a few times, and this most recent one was just last week. Um, we were discussing on a podcast that was out about, Is God Violent?, and the question I had, which has always been in my mind, was how Jesus was with the money changers and he showed anger and violence at the time. And I tried to deal with that in my book, which is now forming part of the Manifesto of the Kingdom of God, and to try to say that anger sometimes is justified. Anger against people, because Jesus gave us the example. And here's the problem. I asked the question, why? Is it that Jesus himself said, if you're angry with your brother or sister, you're subject to judgment. But yet he was angry enough to take a whip to the money changers in the temple. And my good Facebook friend on the podcast, Keith Jarrett, pointed out to me that he never took a whip to people. And I was a bit stunned, thought, okay, I'll read it again. So I read it again, taking off the glasses because these are the glasses that you have after years of listening to people talking about what is biblical, what is scriptural, what is spiritual, what is Christian. That they've inherited from previous generations that could go on forever and ever. And you take off these glasses and you read something more clearly. And here's what it says in the text. John two fifteen. So he made a whip out of cords and drove all from the temple courts, both sheep and cattle. So he drove all from the temple with the whip, but all that he drove were the sheep and the cattle, both sheep and cattle. So he didn't take a whip to people. He wasn't violently angry. It's as simple as that. And so often we've heard about this episode in Jesus' ministry thinking he got angry and he took a whip to people and he scourged them. He didn't. And you might say, okay, he was violent towards the animals then. If you crack a whip, the animals will run. That's how you drive them. You don't beat them or scourge them with the whip. You crack it. And that's what he did. He drove the sheep and cattle from the temple. And so I have to go back now to my book and my theology on anger has to be rewritten. This has happened to me so many times in my life. I simply realise, oh my goodness, I read that wrong. I took on board what I was told and I didn't question it. And I should know, I'm the questioning Thomas, I should always question. And it's so easy to stop questioning and just say, oh, that's the way it is. And there was one point in scripture that I've only just discovered after 40 years that I read wrong. I got it wrong. How can I read it wrong when it's so plainly in the text? So your theology can change when you realise that it doesn't even matter if many, many people before you believe it. It doesn't matter if many churches hold to a doctrine. You read it for yourself and you say, hmm, that doesn't seem right. Story of my life from the very start. But even in all the years that I've been following Jesus, I have found myself falling into that trap of accepting what I'm told and I really should know better. Me of all people. So, another lesson learned. So the book's going to be delayed a bit more because I have to rewrite parts of it again. Sorry about that. But it'll be done soon. So, just sharing that with you for a, a thought to leave you with in the meantime. Because at the end of the day, it is always, ever, only, forever, Jesus. Nothing else. No other doctrines. 
No other thoughts. No other theologians, not even me. Just Jesus. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to get notifications of any new vlogs coming up. And here's a couple of vlogs that you can link on that are already there. Thank you very much. Bye.